profilers are also known as pneumatic profilers and are sometimes referred to in the industry as hand tools. They are available with different RPM and stroke length options and can be easily maintained and rebuilt. We carry two different lines of air profilers, Turbolaps and ULAPS. These tools perform very similarly but have some fundamental differences. Turbolaps have a housing that is made of heavy grade plastic, which is how you can quickly tell them apart from a ULAP, as ULAPs have a stainless steel housing. Turbolaps must be used with clean, dry air, so no oil running through the airline. Your airline must be regulated to a max of 85 psi while using this tool. Unlike Turbolaps, ULAPs must be used with oil. The type of oil that is provided with the profiler is 60 weight turbine oil, but any type of 60 weight oil will be adequate. Air must be regulated to a max of 85 psi with ULAPs as well. So to recap, Turbolaps must be used with clean dry air, ULAPs must be used with oil. There are no warranties offered for either the Turbolaps or ULAPs, so maintaining your profilers properly by using clean dry air versus oil and regulating your airline at a max of 85 psi is extremely important when it comes to getting the performance you would expect out of an air profiler. Now let's take a closer look at each type of air profiler. We offer three different Turbolap models, the TLL03, the TLL07, and the TLS12. The TLL03 is most commonly used on small molds with a lot of detail areas that need to be polished. This is due to its short stroke length of 0.3 millimeters and high RPM of 52,000. The TLL07 is the most popular turbo lap we sell because it is seen as a general purpose profiler for small to medium sized molds and dies. The TLL07 has a stroke length of 0.7 millimeters and RPM of 28,000. TLS-12 is known as the swing profiler because its stroke runs in an orbital fashion, making it ideal for use in ribs and slots. It offers a stroke length of 1.5 millimeter while moving 3 millimeters left to right and 1.2 millimeters linear. Switching gears to ULAPs, we offer four different models. The ULAP-30, ULAP-70, ULAP-120, and ULAP 300. The ULAP 30 is sometimes referred to as a finger tool in the industry because of its short stroke and use on small molds with a lot of detail areas. It has a 0.3 millimeter stroke length and 30,000 RPM. The ULAP 70 is the most popular ULAP because it is seen as a general purpose profiler for use on small to medium plus sized molds and dies. This tool offers a 0.7 millimeter stroke length and 28,000 RPM. The ULAP 120 has a stroke length of 1.2 millimeters, which is nearly two times the length of the ULAP 70, making it a good choice for medium plus to large size molds and dies. This tool runs at 25,000 RPM. Finally, the ULAP 300 is sometimes referred to as a hand tool rather than a finger tool because its large stroke length and slower RPM make it ideal for large to extra large size molds and dies. It has a three millimeter stroke length and 10,000 RPM. Now I'd like to discuss some of the reasons why a profiler might fail to work. If a polisher uses too much hand pressure while polishing, the internal components of the tool are being compromised. So when using the tool, use light pressure and let the tool do the work. If a turbo lap runs on an airline that has oil in it, it can easily break. Likewise, if a U-lap is not hooked up to an airline that has oil running through it, it can also easily break. So making sure you hook up the tool as recommended is important. A profiler might also fail to work if the tool is dropped repeatedly on a hard surface. This can put pressure on and easily damage the internal components of the tool. Finally, if the tool is not properly regulated at a max of 85 psi, you'll run into problems as well. The good news is that if you take good care of these tools and follow these recommendations, you'll get excellent performance out of them. Should you run into an issue, these tools can be easily maintained and rebuilt operation manuals and repair manuals are available and the most popular repair parts are in stock so that you can get your tool back and up and running quickly. Contact us if you have any questions about our line of Turbolap and ULAP air profilers.